Hello and welcome to the BSEEK World Blog. I'm Anne Hodgson in Berlin and I'm talking to business English teacher Vicky Loras who is in Zug, Switzerland via Skype. Thanks for joining us, Vicky. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> um, you're not teaching in an exotic location, I know, but it would still be interesting to hear about what your teaching context in Switzerland is like. Uh, we, we've also, we just had a chance to meet in Paris at the Tissol France and Ayatafel Basic Joint Summer Symposium. What was that conference like for you? Mm -hmm. uh, it was my first time to attend um, a BSIG event ever, so it was. Um, the sessions were great. Um, there were so many going on at the same time that you didn't know which one to choose, which shows how many good things were going on there, uh, and also the interactions we had with uh, other educators after the talks. We were comparing notes, uh, talking about the sessions we attended. It was really nice. I knew a lot of them from. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Some of them we had met face to face before at other conferences. Some I had met uh, for the first time there, mm -hmm. and some I met completely new, not from social media. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about your talk? I know it was um, about word of the week, which is a lesson you've developed. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I started teaching at a bank two years ago and one day I was reading the newspaper and looking for ideas for them and I saw the word netiquette, how to have uh, etiquette on the web. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was um, a great word. I'm always fascinated by words and how they're created and how they're coined. So I thought, oh, okay, maybe I can go tomorrow to my bankers and tell them this word. And uh, as I mentioned in my talk, that was my mistake that I presented it to them. I said, oh, hi, guys, I found this new word. It's netiquette and this and that. Um, they started talking a lot after that uh, without my nudging them at all because they started uh, talking about the word etiquette, how it's similar to French because a lot of them speak French, uh, how their presence on social media is as bankers, what they have to be careful of. And the whole lesson just went just like that. They were just talking. My whole lesson plan was scrapped, which I didn't mind as long as they were talking. <laughs> right. And um, I was just popping in occasionally, correcting their grammar or offering my opinion. And it was great because teacher talking time was to a very minimal. And um, they, were, they were just talking to each other in fantastic English. So I thought, hey, maybe I should use this idea uh, every time. So I asked them, do you want me to bring you a word like this every time? And they said, yeah, they really liked the idea. So I usually find them on Macmillan buzzwords in the Macmillan online dictionary where they have this uh, new part where they add new words from technology or from finances. And then I just go into the classroom and I draw a bubble on the board and I write word of the week on top and they come in rubbing their heads. Oh, let's see which one it is this time and I'm going to find it. And um, they start asking me questions and I give them hints and they, they find the word and then they talk about it. So you turn it into a guessing game. Mm -hmm. It was a guessing game, yeah. And um, there are so many words out there. Some uh, are short-lived. Some really survive throughout the years. But the interesting part is that uh, it gets them talking. I can imagine. This is great. Mm -hmm. I read about this on your blog, too. So mm -hmm. you've described your lesson plan on your blog. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd just like to congratulate you because you were won a, a prize, at, I think, the, the runner-up to the best presentation for a first-time presentation at BSIC. So mm -hmm. congratulations on that. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> really great. Well, you're a prolific networker. I know that you're on Twitter. And uh, can you tell our viewers, our readers, a little bit why you got onto social networking and what it has done for you? Mm -hmm. Well, I started out three years ago um, after I saw that Ken Wilson, whom I admire very much, was also on Twitter. And he said, oh, you have to join. It's great. You can meet other teachers. And so and I never thought it would turn out into what it is today for me. It's uh, a learning platform, a daily learning platform. You can just be on it for five minutes and learn a great deal from it. And um, we share links, we share articles, we talk to each other if we have a problem with our students and we can try to find a solution. And uh, 
there's a miracle going on every Wednesday too, uh, weekly chats, uh, ELT chat, where uh, ELT professionals from all over the world vote on topics. And we have two chats at uh, lunchtime, Central European time, and 9 o'clock. And the moderators are Marissa Constantinidis and uh, Sean Wilden, and James Taylor is the podcaster. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, there's also a summary after the talk, so even if you haven't attended the talk, you can re always read the summary on the ELT chat blog. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, this is something that's quite interesting. More and more people are trying it out. And do you have any tips for keeping up with the chat? Mm -hmm. Well, it can be really fast at times. Uh, people can get lost, but there are, are special platforms like TweetDeck, for example. I've heard a lot of people using TweetDeck where you can make a special column and just see all the ELT chat tweets, which is great. It helps out a lot and uh, you can follow like that. And it's, it's so quick anyway, Twitter, so you can just write um, a very short comment and share a link or you can retweet somebody else who said something great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are you on any other social networks? Um, I'm on LinkedIn, which is kind of a um, social network. I'm not on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> I belong to a, a minority of people who are not on Facebook. I never started it, so I don't know um, if I will in the future. Who knows? Right. How, how is life in Zouk? Mm -hmm. uh, life in Zouk is great. My sister also lives here with her husband and two children, so I have a little bit of family here. Right. Um, it's a very quiet town in, in the middle of um, Zurich and Lucerne, 25,000 inhabitants right. around there. Uh, because the, it has the taxes which are the lowest in the country, we have a lot of international companies which have their headquarters here, mm -hmm. which means a lot of work for business English teachers. Good. And that's great. Yeah, also a lot of banks here, as Switzerland is well known for that. Okay. And um, mm -hmm, it's a great place to work. All right. Mm -hmm. So you've uh, developed certain areas of ESP then probably in the course of teaching at these companies, right? Mm -hmm. What are your areas? Uh, finance, marketing. Um, sometimes it can be very specialized, like very small um, specialized areas. Like I teach in the packaging company, so I'm also learning alongside with them <laughs> about steel, which varnishes are good, for example, what are their names. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, it's a learning experience. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I really like them because I learn with them too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very interesting. Well, um, it was a pleasure meeting you in Paris. That was great. And um, are you planning to be at another basic event anytime in the future? I hope to be at the one in Stuttgart in November. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be lovely. And I know that you've also got an event coming up in, in Zouk itself, right? When mm -hmm. is that going to be, and what is that going to be? Uh, that's going to be on September 8th. Uh -huh. It's our SIG day. Okay. We have all the SIGs together, and we have uh, really great speakers this year, as last year as well. This year, even more from all over Europe. Just to name a few names, we have Chia Suan Chong, Mike Hogan, and a Musilek, Dale Coulter, and lots and lots of other people. Mm -hmm. well, well, that sounds like it's something to really look forward to. Mm -hmm. Well, Vicky, I think we're going to come to a close now. I'm going to post all those links on our blog. And I'd thank like to thank time. you very warmly for, uh, for taking the time out today to, to come and speak to us here on the, on the Basic World blog. Thanks a yeah. lot. Me too. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, have a good day. You Bye. too. Bye.